All right, so here's the situation. You got yourself a Skookum NVIDIA graphics card. You get yourself a sweet deal on a FreeSync monitor, even though it's not on the compatible list. And you think, ah, I'll be fine. And then you find out you're not fine. The screen's flickering or doing weird stuff. Is there a solution? Well, maybe. This is what worked for me. So first of all, make sure you're on the latest driver version as it has the most up-to-date list of compatible um, FreeSync monitors. So unfortunately, this one didn't get added to the list. Uh, but I did notice that when I updated to the latest driver, I, the flickering was less prevalent. It didn't happen as, as often, even though it still happened. So once you make sure you're in the latest graphics version, driver version, You'll see mine has got a native refresh rate of 144 at 1080. So I went up to the generic HD, Ultra HD um, uh, settings, and I picked 120 hertz. And then I went through the normal uh, rigmarole of setting up G-Sync. So make sure it's enabled, enabled for both windowed and full screen mode. There we go. And then hit enable to force enable it. And then I went to manage 3D settings. And this is just a best practice for um, G-Sync in, in general. So I, I enabled max frame rate and I set it to j just a few frames. So this is something you want to just do in general whenever you're enabling G-Sync is so that you stay in the G-Sync range. And it, it has another benefit as well when you cap it a few frames below or you just cap it in general is I saw a massive reduction in power uh, depending on the game you play and how much it it thralls it down when you when you have a, a cap uh, on Warframe for example on the max settings um, and when I was capping it at 141 uh, I dropped like 70 watts uh, so that'd be even more drastic uh, going down to 117. So with that, I've pretty much seen, I'd say, 99% elimination of, of screen flicker. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Sergeant Nathan out.